Oh, well, today uh, Malbec has grown from virtually the unknown 20 years ago to being one of the most recognized varieties in the world, uh, particularly in the United States and in the Americas, but it's growing tremendously in Asia as well as Europe. So it's um, a tremendous amount of growth, and I think that's largely because of the great quality value relationship. When a consumer buys a bottle of Malbec, they get a lot of quality for the price. Normally, uh, what consumers like uh, is, is the one of the things that Malbec offers is its easy drinkability. Uh, and, and also that it matches so beautifully with, with a, a, a wide variety of foods. So I think Malbec is, once someone has tried it, the first thing is they must try. <laughs> but once they've tried it, I, f I find that people uh, automatically go back, they want to drink it again. However, the, the, the thing that we must be careful is to continue to preserve the quality. That's key because if the consumer then buys something, a bad bottle of wine, and they, that happens more than once, they may, not, they may look for something else. In my opinion, in my view, uh, I think it will help uh, if we work as producers, as, as bodegueros, as winemakers, uh, if we work more closely together to promote our products internationally. Internationally, we are a very small, I mean, we are number four today, I believe, in, in uh, exports to, to the United States, for example. So if you go into a wine shop in, in the U.S., Argentina only makes up a very small part of that wine shop. And if we want to take up more shelf, if we want to get more awareness and top of mind, we're going to need to work together because no one producer has the mass to do it by themselves. Yo creo, I mean, I think we're, we're a little bit behind. Uh, the Chileans have always been very professional at, at promote, promoting their wines. And I think we would do well to study and even work with them. I think they would even help us <laughs> But certainly, uh, they are very professional, and I hear that frequently when I'm in the market. Uh, that whether I'm in the British market, for example, or in the US market, or in other markets uh, in Asia as well, that the Chileans are extremely professional, and that we, they would like to see Argentina work like the Chileans. So I, I don't say that we have to work exactly like them, of course, we need, but we have many great things to offer uh, we just need to up our game. Uh, and the concept of the of taxes and so on, we have some disadvantages with our, with our neighbor. Uh, but again, that means we probably could benefit from more support from the government, which ultimately helps our country. It helps Argentina. So I think uh, we should work and collaborate more uh, internationally to free up and have more open trade and free trade and be competitive. Uh, it's an advantage, finally. Yes, there's a risk involved, <laughs> but I, I think finally it's more competitive. It's, and it's the only way that we're going to be able to compete with others that don't have that impediment. Uh, Chile, if they can sell to China more directly than we can, then of course it's an advantage for them. Advantage Chile, and that's not good for us. <laughs>